Good evening. It is October 13th, and it's generator season again. Oh, looks like my camera doesn't want to focus. It will, sorry. So, this is the same generator that I made a video about. Uh, early spring, but at that time I had not had a reliable way, or well, just a, a good way to turn the cooling system on and off. Um, today was a cloudy, shitty day. Uh, can't see nothing now. Sun's down. But it was behind the clouds, and the wind picked up, but uh, didn't make enough to keep the batteries in the green. So here we are firing this guy up, and again, I'm gonna do a quick run over. This is a dual core permanent magnet alternator from Thermodyne. Uh, it's got a one-to-one -one ratio. Three and a quarter inch, three and a quarter inch pulley. I went with a little bit thicker heavy duty automotive belts because they are meant for prolonged use and uh, higher RPMs. The ones with the ribs here, they can handle turning on a tighter pulley faster. If you try to use uh, something for a lawnmower or a tiller, it's going to rip apart real fast. It's not used to spinning as fast as this is going to spin. Um, that kicks out three phase. So these three heavy wires here are going inside to a 300 amp rectifier, which uh, then goes through a meter and directly to the batteries and stuffs tons of power. I've got it preset to make about uh, 1,000 watts. I can dial it all the way up. And it'll make 3,000 watts uh, continuous duty as long as you're cooling it. So this container is built with a fan there blowing into the back of the alternator. And the way these fans are designed, they pull air from the back out anyway. So it just helps it uh, cool more efficiently. It's kicking cold air at it. And then there's another fan right there that blows air right into the air shroud on this engine and helps keep the engine from overheating and then that hot air can vent on both sides of this container and right here I've siliconed <coughs> excuse me a temperature sensor that goes to this here relay and that takes 12 volt from uh, 24 to 12 step down inside uh, and then that distributes power to the two fans in here and to the fan on my rectifier inside and keeps everything from overheating when that gets to a set temp engine starts to warm up Basically, it all warms up together. The rectifier warms up, the PMA warms up, the engine warms up pretty much all at kind of the same pace because it's uh, making power. So it's all set to kick the fans on at the same time. They all three kick on, and when it runs out of gas and shuts itself down, they cool back down, and when it cools back down to a safe temp, the relay kicks back off so let's fire it up hit the choke quick and so at this RPM it's making right about a thousand maybe eleven hundred watts and you'll see
this way. And I don't have to worry about killing my batteries by forgetting to turn the fans off. So I can turn the fans off for me. So let's go for the damn well. Another bonus here. charging. There's about 1100 watts going into the bank. Um, that's right about 50 amps going into my 10 group 31 deep cells. 550 amp hours. Uh, I always, I always cut and then go back downstairs and Turn the video back on. Let's just go straight down. Nor the mess. And. Oh, 1200. So that's our input from the alternator. That's our rectifier. And. So it's putting 45 amps and 1200 watts in. I moved the throttle control, made it a little easier. Come wind her down. And set it for. 200 if I play with it enough. Or we can crank her wide open. Well, my belt might have slipped a little bit there. It only went up to 2700 watts, but it absolutely does. Go up to 3,000. Let's try it again. Watch the amps. Look at that. 90 amps. 90 amps into a 24 volt bank. But to get the most out of my gas, I like to dial it for right around 11. 11 or so, and she'll run for five hours like this, and put, uh, you know, 250 amp hours, 200, 250 amp hours into the batteries, which uh, gets me way back into the green, so really nothing has changed down here. Um, 
still waiting on purchasing, I'm waiting for the right opportunity to jump on some more solar panels and the turbines will be going higher up in the air. They we're moving a little bit today though, what was our peak? Let's wait for it, 16 amps, 430 watts peak, not bad. But anyhow, that's that. Thanks for watching. Take care.